I'm Riley Broyer, I'm 13, I go to the Knox School and I love to draw anime and manga and play video games. Hi, I'm Warren Broyer, I'm 45 years old um, and I've recently, I've, uh, well since about 2010, um, found the love for arts. We were at a teaching interview tonight, a lot of his books had um, drawings in them um, rather than him doing work. So um, we decided, my wife and I decided that we would try and um, nurture that a little bit. So we art stuff. Um, as a result of that, I ended up getting uh, involved in it. And I, I don't have a, a, an artistic background. I've mainly been a sporting kid. While his obsession, I kind of got obsessed with art and, uh, and have started uh, uh, doing it. So that was probably back in 2010 um, and we've kind of been progressing since then. I get inspiration from watching anime and reading manga and just off the internet. I get my inspiration um, for art uh, mainly from a lot of other artists so I like observing other artists going to galleries um, and seeing um, their different styles and techniques um, really looking into the detail at, uh, and seeing how I can maybe replicate it so I can uh, develop my own techniques. The bit of work that I'm working on at the moment, I'm trying to start doing a little bit of realistic touch to this one and I'm starting to use pastels. Uh, the piece I'm working on at the moment is a beach scene. So uh, it's one I've been working on for a while and I've been re-inspired uh, after a recent holiday. So really just trying to get the depth of the water and um, um, get some of the colours and the consistency in the, in the waves. Kishimoto is an anime and manga artist who made the anime and manga Naruto, uh, which is a bestseller in Japan and America. I watch it a lot and I love his style and the stories. My favourite artists uh, would be Mark Wallace. So Mark Wallace is a, um, an artist, does a lot of um, sea scenery, um, um, waters, at, uh, very good at transparency and makes the water look alive. Uh, Jean-Michael uh, Basquette, so he's a, a street artist, an American street artist who was a little bit political in, in the stuff that he did, but he's, uh, I've uh, replicated some of his artwork and I really like uh, his style. I like Ronnie Wood's um, uh, detail and art. I, I, I'm a Rolling Stones fan as well, so it's just a bonus that he's an artist and I kind of enjoy his pieces as well. Um, I use the Japanese marker Kopec and I use a normal pencil and a rubber. Sometimes I'll just use, pen, just use a pencil and try a um, grey lead attempt. I always ink the drawing. The mediums I like to use are uh, uh, pastels. So I'm quite into pastels with the pencils and um, the actual pastel chalks. Acrylic paints, so doing a lot with the acrylic paints at the moment. I'm kind of keen into, to move into oils. I'm not brave enough to do it yet, but um, I really like the vividness of the colours of the oil paints. So um, my ambition is to try and get to a level where I can confidently take on the oil challenge. Mm -hmm. I mix the Lord of the Rings with Japanese anime because I don't really like drawing realistic, but um, I really enjoy both things, so I combine them. They do anime club at my school during the lunch times, where I catch up with people that have the same interests as me, and my teacher's great. I've learnt how to hatch. I started doing hatching from her which I just picked up a technique. It gives it a bit of a cartoons, a bit of a realistic effect with like in a shadowy area, you do like little lines and cross it together. And yes, yeah, she's a bit of inspiration for me as well. I'm really in at the moment trying to get a lot of depth out of my artwork and the shading and um, really trying to get the picture to stand out. I, I really get inspired by looking at other artists' work, so any little gallery we can find, I'll go into and have a look around. And Anime has attracted me in a way. 
because I just started watching it when I was younger on TV, the basic ones like Pokemon and all that. And as I got older, I started watching more of the older ones and the ones made in Japan, reading subtitles. And I just really enjoyed doing it. It also pulled me away from games, but not in the right direction. Which we're happy about. <laughs> uh, we tried to combine both the anime, so my realism face with an anime face. We tried to do a bit of a fusion. Um, which kind of, which didn't quite work out first time round. Th I think the thing that we look kind of like about it is that we don't necessarily need to be sitting there having conversations. The beautiful thing about art is you can create things together side by side um, and just enjoy each other's company, observing each other's work and um, um, being each other's critic. Um, so a certain honesty that comes with it, as you can imagine, but it's just nice spending time together without necessarily having to have conversations sometimes. Yeah. Just being creative together. When I I don't really, I erase everything that's distracting me or stressing me out from my head and I just let the pencil do the work. So what he does and what I do is very different. But I think we respect each other's work. I, the things I get out of Riley's artwork is the vivid colours. He uses a lot of really uh, vivid colours um, and gets good depth and, and um, detail out of some of the colours that he uses. I got from Dad. I started doing shading, like learning to shade my colours instead of keeping it broad colours. Yeah, the light balls, yeah. And things sometimes to do with your parent. I have so I felt a part of family activities. I felt kind of left out. And then um, we found just for kids that are similar to me, there's always something out there to do with your parent. It's not like there's no connection. This program uh, may bring the Knox Council and everyone in it a bit more into art because um, I noticed there's not many artists in the Knox area. So hopefully this program may bring out the inner artistic feeling in some people. It's certainly been a great outlet for us to be able to, you know, do a lot of these pieces and they sit inside the four walls of your house. It's kind of nice. It's, it's, it's scary, but it's kind of nice to be able to bring that out and show other people and, um, and get some honest raw feedback on, on, on your work. Because creativity and art in general ha is like going away slowly. Um, not many people are starting to do it, are starting to be a lot less creative and creativity is a big part of life and I promote it, so. <laughs> <laughs>